The triangular fibrocartilage complex is formed by the triangular fibrocartilage discus, the radina ligaments and the ulnocarpal ligaments. Structure equals triangular fibrocartilage disc equals the TFC is an articular discus that lies on the pole of the distal ulna. It has a triangular shape and a biconcave body. The periphery is thicker than its center. The central portion of the TFC is thin and consists of chondroid fibrocartilage. This type of tissue is often seen in structures that can bear compressive loads. This central area is often so thin that it is translucent and in some cases it is even absent. The peripheral portion of the TFC is well vascularized, while the central portion has no blood supply. This discus is attached by thick tissue to the base of the ulna styloid and by thinner tissue to the edge of the radius just proximal to the radiocarpal articular surface. Equals radina ligaments equals, the ruler euro unregistered trademark S are the principal stabilizers of the distal radina joint. There are two RULs, the palmar and dorsal radina ligaments. These ligaments arise from the distal radius medial border and insert on the ulna at two separate and distinct sites, the ulna styloid and the fovea. Each ligament consists of a superficial component and a deep component. The superficial components insert directly onto the ulna styloid. The deep components insert more lateral, into the fovea adjacent to the articular surface of the pole of the distal ulna. The ligaments are composed of longitudinally oriented lamella collagen to resist tensile loads and have a rich vascular supply to allow healing. Equals ulnocarpal ligaments equals, the UCLA Euro unregistered trademark S consist of the ulnolinate and the ulnotricatural ligaments. They originate from the ulna styloid and insert into the carpal bones of the wrist, the ulnolinate ligament inserts into the lunate bone and the ulnotricatural ligament into the trichotrum bone. These ligaments prevent dorsal migration of the distal ulna. They are more taut during supination, because in supination ulna styloid moves away from the carpal bones volar side. Function The primary functions of the TFCC, to cover the ulna head by extending the articular surface of the distal radius, load transmission across the ulnocarpal joint and partially load absorbing allows forearm rotation by giving a strong but flexible connection between the distal radius and ulna. It also supports the ulna portion of the carpus. Equals load transmission equals, the TFCC is important in load transmission across the ulna aspect of the wrist. The TFC transmits and absorbs compressive forces. The ulna variance influences the amount of load that is transmitted through the distal ulna. The load transmission is directly proportional to this ulna variance. In neutral ulna variance, approximately 20% of the load is transmitted. With negative ulna variance, the load across the TFC is decreased. This occurs during supination, because the radius moves distally on the ulna and creates a negative ulna variance. With positive ulna variance it is reversed. The load that is transmitted across the TFC is then increased. This positive ulna variance occurs during pronation. Equals rotation equals. The TFCC is a major stabilizer of the DOUJ. To control the forearm rotation the DOUJ acts in concert with the proximal radina joint. The connection between the distal radius and the distal ulna, maintain the congruency of the DOUJ. This attachment is mainly created by the ruler Euro unregistered trademark S of the TFCC. These ligaments support the joint through its arc of rotation. The role of the TFCC in supination and in pronation is a matter of dispute. Some authors concluded that the dorsal fibers of the TFCC tighten in pronation, and the palmar fibers in supination. These conclusions are opposite of those published by Arfi Kinstam and Hagert. Both parties are in fact right, because the ruler Euro unregistered trademark as such as described in the anatomy, consist of two ligaments and each ligament has two components, the superficial and the deep ligament. During supination the superficial palma and the deep dorsal ligaments are tighten, he prevent palma translation of the ulna. In pronation this is reversed, the superficial dorsal and the deep palma ligaments are tighten. They prevent dorsal translation of the ulna in pronation. Clinical Significance 
the TFCC has a substantial risk for injury and degeneration because of its anatomic complexity and multiple functions. Application of an extension pronation force to an axial load wrist, such as in a fall on an outstretched hand, causes most of the traumatic injuries of the TFCC. Dorsal rotation injury, such as when a drill binds and rotates the wrist instead of the bit, can also cause traumatic injuries. Injury may also occur from a distraction force applied to the bola forearm or wrist. Finally tears of the TFCC are frequently found by patients with distal radius fractures. Perforations and defects in the TFCC are not all traumatic. There is an age-related correlation with lesions in the TFCC, but many of these defects are asymptomatic. These lesions commonly occur by patients with positive ulnar variants. Chronic and excessive loading through the ulnocarpal joint causes degenerative TFCC tears. These tears are a component of ulnar impaction syndrome. Even though natural degeneration of the ulnocarpal joint is very common, it is important to recognize. In cadaveric examinations, 30% to 70% of the cases had TFCC perforations and chondromalysa of the ulnar head, lunate and trichotrum. Cases with ulnar negative variants had fewer degenerative changes. Equals Palmer Euro unregistered trademark S classifications of TFCC lesions equals, the Palmer classification is the most recognized scheme. It divides TFCC lesions into these two categories. This classification provides an accurate anatomic description of tears, it does not guide treatment or indicate prognosis. Class 1, traumatic, A. Central perforation, B. Ulnar revulsion. With styloid fracture, without styloid fracture. C. Distal avulsion, D. Radial avulsion, with sigmoid notch fracture, without sigmoid notch fracture. Class 2, degenerative A. TFCC wear, B. TFCC wear. Plus lunate and or ulnar head chondromalysa. C. TFCC perforation. Plus lunate and or ulnar head chondromalysa. DTFCC perforation, plus lunate and or ulnar head chondromalysa, plus lunotricatural ligament perforation. ETFCC perforation, plus lunate and or ulnar head chondromalysa, plus lunotricatural ligament perforation, plus ulnocarpal arthritis. Equals symptoms equals, patients with a TFCC injury usually experience pain or discomfort located at the ulnar side of the wrist often just above the ulnar styloid. However there are also some patients who report diffuse pain throughout the entire wrist. Rest can reduce pain and activity can make it worse, especially with rotating movements of the wrist or movements of the hand sideways in ulnar direction. Other symptoms patients with a TFCC injury frequently mention are, swelling, loss of grip strength, instability and grinding or clicking sounds that can occur during activity of the wrist equals diagnosis equals anamnesis injuries to the tfcc may be preceded by a fall on a prunated outstretched arm a rotational injury to the forearm an axial load trauma to the wrist or a distraction injury of the wrist in ulnar direction however not all patients can recall a preceding trauma occurred physical examination palpation the best place to palpate the TFCC is between the extensor carpi ulnaris and the flexor carpi ulnaris, distal to the ulnar styloid and proximal to the pisiform bone. Tenderness in this area may be consistent with a TFCC lesion. Piano key sign, dorsal DOUJ instability can cause a protruding ulnar head, which can be pressed down. When you release the pressure, it will spring back in position again, just like a piano key. DOUJ stress test, with this provocation maneuver the wrist is held in prunated or supinated position, while the physician attempts to manipulate the distal ulna in dorsal and volar direction. Painful laxity indicates DOUJ instability and suggests a UL pathology. Ulna grind test, the forearm is fixated and the wrist is held in dorsiflexion. The physician then applies axial load, while he rotates and deviates the wrist in ulna direction. Pain and crepitations during this provocation maneuver suggest DOUJ instability or arthritis. Imaging X-ray X-rays of the wrist are made in two directions, posterior-anterior and lateral. 
Radiographs are useful to diagnose or rule out possible bone fractures, a positive ulnar variance or osteoarthritis. The TFCC is not visible on an X-ray, regardless of its condition. MRI is, together with the findings of a careful physical examination, a helpful diagnostic tool to assess the condition of the TFCC. Nevertheless, the incidence of false positive and false negative MRI results is high. Arthrography, a dye is injected into the wrist joint. If there is a TFCC lesion the dye will leak from one joint compartment to another. Wrist arthroscopy, is an invasive diagnostic tool, but it remains to this day the most accurate way to identify TFCC lesions. Note. Imaging techniques can only be relevant together with the clinical findings of a carefully performed physical examination. Other than a TFCC injury, there are many possible causes for ulnar-sided wrist pain. Equals differentiate diagnosis of TFCC injuries equals tendinopathy of the ECU, ulnar styloid fracture, distal radius fracture, DOUJ arthritis, pisiform bone fractures, hammock bone fractures, carpal instability mid-carpal instability, hypothena hammer syndrome. Equals treatment equals, the initial treatment for both traumatic and degenerative TFCC lesions, with a stable DOUJ, is conservative therapy. Patients may be advised to wear a temporarily splint or cast to immobilize the wrist and forearm for four to six weeks. The immobilization allows scar tissue to develop which can help heal the TFCC. In addition oral NSAIDA Euro unregistered trademark S and corticosteroid joint injections can be prescribed for pain relief. Physiotherapy and occupational therapy can help patients recover after immobilization or surgery. Conservative treatment also includes the use of the wrist widget or DOUJ brace with accommodation of the ulnar styloid. This brace is used commonly for the conservative management of TFCC tears. Indications for acute TFCC surgery are, a clearly unstable DOUJ, or the existence of additional unstable or displaced fractures. TFCC surgery is also indicated when conservative treatment proves insufficient in about 8 to Euro 12 weeks. Fractures of the radius bone are often associated by TFCC damage. If the fracture is treated surgically it is recommended to evaluate and if necessary repair the TFCC as well. Closed fractures of the radius bone are treated non-surgically with cast. The immobilization can also help heal the TFCC. Surgical, arthroscopic debridement of TFC discus tissue, the central part of the TFC has no blood supply and therefore has no healing capacity. When a tear occurs in this area of the TFC, it typically creates an unstable flap of tissue that is likely to catch on other joint surfaces. Removing the damaged tissue is then indicated. Arthroscopic debridement is a treatment for degenerative TFC tears associated with positive ulnar variants, unfortunately, show poor results. Arthroscopic repair of TFCC ligaments, suturing TFCC ligaments can sometimes be performed arthroscopically but only if there is no serious damage to the ligaments or other surrounding structures. Even after a short period of time torn ligaments tend to retract and therefore lose length. Retracted ligament ends are impossible to suture together again and a reconstruction may be necessary. Open surgical repair of the TFCC, open surgery is usually required for degenerative or more complex TFCC injuries, or if additional damage to the wrist or forearm caused instability or displacement. It is a more invasive surgical technique compared to arthroscopic treatment, but the surgeon has better visibility and access to the TFCC. Options for open surgery. Suturing of the ruler Euro unregistered trademark as this is, just like arthroscopic suturing of these ligaments, only possible when the damage is not too serious and if both ends of the ruptured ligament are not yet retracted. Anatomic reconstruction of the ruler Euro unregistered trademark S using a tendon graft. The tendon graft is tunneled through drilled holes in the ulna and radius bones. This procedure is indicated for DOUJ instability caused by an irreparable TFCC. Capsular or extensor retinaculum plication. This surgical technique aims to improve DOUJ stability by shortening the joint capsule or the extensor retinaculum. 
it is mostly used for minor DOUJ instability and is less invasive compared to a complete AUL reconstruction. Shortening of the ulna bone. Patients with a positive ulna variance are more susceptible to TFCC damage. Shortening the ulna bone may help relieve the excess pressure to the TFCC and prevent further degeneration. References This article incorporates text in the public domain from the 20th edition of Gray's Anatomy. External links Orthopt 349 at eMedicine A Euro Triangular Fibrocartilage Complex Injuries Triangular Fibrocartilage Complex at the Duke University Health Systems Orthopedics Program